Hello gorgeous, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about Beautylish. I recently placed an order on their website and I picked up some new items and I just want to share with you those new items. Let's test them out. Talk about some products that I currently own that are easy to get at Beautylish. I have new brushes. I have a gel eyeliner that has blown my mind. I have two new powders. So if you'd like to see me play, if you'd like to see what other goodies you can get from this Beautylish company, then just keep watching. We are starting with the eyes. My eyebrows are done. So brow. <laughs> and the first item that I picked up from Beautylish were these brushes here. They are from the Unit brand. They had a four pack of brushes. The price was reasonable. And when I got them, I got a free gift, which was the Unit's setting powder. This is the Unit's powder right here. It's got a net on the inside and it seems to be very finely milled. This is what it looks like in the container and it seems very nice. I've not heard anything about this brand. I just know that from Beautylish I have picked up Wayne Goss brushes before. I have never tried this brand. They are super soft brushes so we're going to use these for our look today with the Wayne Goss Luxury Eye Palette in Imperial Topaz. I have not played with this in a hot minute and I love this palette. I do have a new liner that I'm gonna use that's a winged liner, so we're gonna go pretty simple on the eyes. I'm gonna take this unit's 309 brush and I'm gonna go in with this shade right here and this might be the only shade that we use. We shall see. I am just going to focus on this outer corner. That's where I want most of the color to be. And then I'm going to gently slide it forward. Focusing here gently. We can go up and out, but gently going in. We're going to do a winged liner that's going to lift the eye. take a little bit of this shimmer shade right here and go on the lid with it just for a little added dimension but I really want the focus to be on this new liner so I'm not going to go into the celestial shade maybe for the inner corner but this Wayne's formula is just gorgeous it is like nothing I've ever used before it's very silky satiny but still pops on the eye these brushes feel fabulous let's go into the bottom lash line with this smaller pencil brush this is the units 310 i'm going to go right back into that medium brown shade If you're not familiar with Beautylish, they sell a lot of different brands. They are very good at their customer service. They have great specials. They ship fast to me, at least I am in the northeast area of the country. I really enjoy this company. I was first introduced to them when I fell in love with Wayne Goss's products and I have since been grabbing some goodies. I like this bigger brush here. You can blend it out. So soft on the eye. And then of course this brush you can use to put on the lid. You could use it under the eye, different things. I'm gonna throw on some foundation and for foundation today, I have this little baby of the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. She has a couple of different foundations but this is the one I'm gonna use. It's in the shade 7.5 Neutral. This is what it looks like. And I'm gonna use my NYX 
foundation brush for this. It's a little yellow for my skin tone, but we'll make it work. As you can see, it is very full coverage covers up all that redness on my nose. I'm going to take it up under the eyes. Gorgeous. Flawless. The skin finish looks natural right now. And I still have a little bit of foundation on my hand. We will stop there. And for concealer, I actually picked up the Hourglass. This is their Retouch Concealer. And this is meant for going over concealer or touching up concealer later in the day. But I just, I've been, I've been excited to try it out. So we're gonna put this over where we put the foundation because it's not supposed to be full coverage. It's just supposed to be smoothing brightening and good for touch-ups. So this might be one that I keep in my purse if my concealer is just not looking good. Tati recommended this one. Said it was magic in a bottle and I often will look creepy under the eyes about halfway through the day from the dryness under my eyes. It's weird, I get oily everywhere else. Dry under the eyes. So. I will keep you posted if this is a game changer, but it looks pretty. Look up. For powder, I picked up the RCMA powder. This has been around. Makeup artists use it, and I wanted to try it because it's got a really good value. So it looks like it's white. <laughs> Just made a mess. It looks white, but it is translucent. I'm going to put this on my powder brush, knock off some excess. I will say it is messy. I've got powder everywhere. But it feels weightless. Of course I go in like a crazy person with my powder. I'm sure if you were gentler, it wouldn't happen to you. But yeah, powder all over me. But this... For the value, I will definitely, at least on a day-to-day, -day, my skin looks really good, really nice and smooth. And I would think this powder would last you a very long time. For bronzer, I have this one from Hourglass. This is their Diffused Bronze Light. This is a baby one that I picked up from Sephora, but they do have Hourglass on the Beautylish website. So let's go ahead and add some color back into this face. Not sure this is the right brush. This one's a little fluffier. I was using my cream powder brush. Now Hourglass is known for being very soft and diffused. So this is a bronzer that I would recommend to someone that is really wanting a very soft, not punchy, bronzer look because I believe this is one of the deeper shades but it is doing the job I just have to build it up for highlight I'm gonna go back into that Imperial Topaz palette and I'm just going to jump into let's see what the celestial shade looks like as highlight Ooh, pretty sparkly I'm gonna go in with this shade and see what that looks like. The other one might have had just a little too much sparkle. It's one thing I love about Wayne's palettes is they have very large pans. So it's easy to use his colors as blush and highlight. Now because I did it on the one side, I need to go in with that celestial shade on this side. 
we got some sparkle going on. And for blush, I'm also going to use this peachy shade in his palette. So you can see his palettes are not cheap, but they're so versatile. So if you add in the fact that you can use so many different shades, matter of fact, I could probably take that brown that's in there and deepen up my bronzer. I might just do that. I'm going back in with that bronzer brush and I'm going to put a little bit of that brown in there. Mm -hmm. I would say that's more of a contour than a bronze, but it definitely gives my face a little more shape. I'm going to put a little bit on the forehead. The thing I'm probably most excited to talk to you about is this Inglot gel eyeliner. I have tried a lot of liquid liners and gel liners and I have never experienced anything like this. It is amazing. I can't even remember who I heard talking about it, but I saw it and I thought, I need to get that. And it has made my wing liner so much easier. But I'm going to attempt a wing on my eye. First of all, did you notice how I dipped once and was able to do both eyes? It is amazing, so creamy, doesn't run. For my beginner skills at winged liner, I am in love. Now I would like to clean up these wings just a little bit, so what I would suggest is you take a clean pencil brush, and here's one from BH, and what I will do is take a little bit of the foundation or usually you'd use your concealer and I'm just gonna put a little bit on my hand, put a little bit on the brush and then you can clean up that wing. Make that edge super sharp. I'm going to throw a little bit of Wayne's black coal liner in my waterline. And I am going to brush out my lashes because you don't want that gel to set in your lashes. It could make mascara difficult to apply. I'm going to go ahead and curl the lashes. And for mascara, I have the Wayne Goss waterproof. This mascara is the best if you have an event or you constantly have mascara flake on you. I wore this to my nephew's wedding in September. I was sweating and I cried and cried and cried, tears of happiness, and my makeup stayed intact. <laughs> when you do a nice soft eye, strong wing, that just screams red. So we're gonna jump into some Danessa Myricks. I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with a Morphe red lip liner. We are going in with the Danessa Myricks Color Fix. This is her matte version. She has mattes, shimmers. We're going to top it with the glaze, but this can be used for eyes, lips, cheek. <laughs> I will link that video in the cards and also in the description box because this was funny. I tried to use this shade as blush. Didn't work out well. 
that was my bad. I picked a bad shade because I know a lot of people that enjoy these as blush, but I picked up a red, a gold, and a glaze, so let's use this on the lips. And of course, you could use a lip brush, but I just used my finger. But this will dry down to a matte and is very long lasting, not drying, and just a beautiful shade. What is this called? It is called Primary Red. How easy is that? But it's a nice blue based red that's going to make your teeth look nice and white. We're going to let that set. I do want to add a little bit of inner corner highlight. Let's go back to that Wayne palette and we'll throw this on. Maybe a little bit of that celestial shade. Beautiful. Now, so you will see, the only thing that came off was my lip liner. <laughs> Let's go ahead and put some of her glaze on. Again, putting it on the finger. Absolutely love it and you see only a tinge of the red came off to set the face Beautylish carries a lot of Charlotte Tilbury so I love her airbrush flawless setting spray let's go ahead and throw some of that on beautiful so I hope you enjoyed this video I will tell you the new products that I tried I love these brushes I highly suggest that you Check out the units brand sold at Beautylish. I will have to keep you posted on the units powder, but for the RCMA, yes, absolutely. Such a great value. You get so much. I love Wayne. I was glad to use him again. This eyeliner, star of the show. If you have a gel eyeliner that you love, please comment below. I've heard nice things about the Maybelline, but I've tried. LA Girl, I believe I've tried e.l.f. Like none of them go on, stay on. Even my liquid liner always sort of crackles at the end or I just have a heck of a time applying. This seems to be the easiest for me to apply. This gel liner from RCMA, that inspired this entire video. You know I'm obsessed with makeup. I like to play with makeup, all the things that I liked, but that was good. To me, the biggest disappointment was probably this bronzer. It's just, it just wasn't enough for me, but Wayne saved the day with the eyeshadow palette. So check out Beautylish. Not a sponsored video. I just think they're a great company that sell so many different brands and have great deals. Sign up for their uh, emails and texts. You, you will not regret it. Lots of stuff. On that note, if you would like to see more of new makeup, playing with makeup, testing out products, make sure you're subscribed. Subscribe to my channel. I'm a mama over 40 that just likes to play with makeup. Have some fun. I would love to have you come join me and have some fun as well. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you thought. How'd I do on my wing? I think I did okay. I think it looks pretty good. And even my husband commented. He said, wow, I like that wing. So it's just not me. I'm not normally a wing kind of girl. I'm more of the smoky eye and more recently it's been the heavy smoky eye and the nude lip which I love but I've always admired those wings so thank you to Inglot for helping me get a little bit better with my wing and I'm sure practice makes perfect. I will see you in my next video. Have a great day.